Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to fire up the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro 24 for the first time and we're going to cook a rack of beef short ribs. So let's get started. This is going to be the star of our show today. This is about a four pound rack of beef short ribs. I've gone ahead and trimmed off the silver skin on the top and I have uh, pulled the membrane off the back side of these guys. So what we're going to do next is I like to use a little bit, just a little Worcestershire sauce as a binder and I'm going to smear that on there and then I'm going to get a nice coat of my homemade beef rub on here and I'll give you the recipe for my beef rub in the video description. And then I'll come back and do the same thing on the top side with a little bit of that Worcestershire sauce. And I just get a nice layer of my rub on here. I like to put a rub on here that's thick, just thick enough where you can't see the meat through the rub. And uh, I'm going to let that sit on there to adhere for just a couple of minutes. And then I toss these guys in a vacuum seal bag and I'm going to put them in the... Uh, vac 100 here and get a really nice tight vacuum seal on those guys and i'm going to put these in the refrigerator and let that ride overnight this morning i've loaded up the uh, camp chef with a load of hickory pellets and we're going to go ahead and start this grill and i'm going to set the cooking temperature here for 250 and i'm going to set the smoke level to the max and we'll let this grill get started up our grills up to temp so what I want to do to start with here is I want to load my smoker box up I'm gonna put a couple of cherry chunks in there to get this party started and we'll just push that back in and then I'm gonna open the vent to uh, let the flame have access to those so now we're going to crack this guy open. I'm going to set my rack of ribs in here. And I'm also going to use uh, one of the temperature probes uh, it, during this cook. Just because I haven't used it before, we're going to see how it pans out. I'm going to run this probe through here. And I'm going to get it into the center of this rack. Pretty deep in there. And... We'll close this guy up and let it cook. And I'm going to come back in about 30 minutes or so to have a look at what's in our smoke box and see what's going on there. About 30 minutes in here, most of our smoking wood has uh, done its job. This thing's been producing some amazing smoke, so I'm going to drop another chunk in there and put it right back in there. And what I'm doing is I'm just leaving that uh, fire port fully open where that chunk can ignite and burn cleanly uh, and it's producing beautiful smoke okay we've been rolling here about two and a half hours and the color is looking pretty good on those ribs I'm getting some nice pullback I'm really happy with the color so far the internal temperature of the meats up to 166 I'm gonna let it go a little further because I think I'm gonna wrap it after a while but uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a spritz. And uh, we'll come back probably when the internal temperature in that meat's up around 175 or so. And we'll have another look. We've been going three and a half hours here. And the internal temperature of this rack of ribs is up to 175. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now. So I'm going to pull that out of there and we're gonna wrap these and bring them back so I've got these wrapped I'm gonna put them back on here bone side down and I'm gonna see if I can get my temperature probe back in there at a reasonable location because I want to kind of keep an eye on that uh, that looks good it came back right up to about 174 right there so we're gonna let these continue to cook in the foil here till we get up to around 200 degrees. And then we'll come back and have another look. 
Okay, we've been going right at uh, five hours on these ribs, and our internal temperature on these is up to 200 degrees. So what I want to do now is take a look at our tenderness. So I'm going to get these unwrapped just a little bit here where I can have a look. You can have a look with me. Man, I think those are looking pretty good. So Yeah, our tenderness is right on point, but I'm going to leave them in here for maybe I'm going to just wrap these back up loosely and I'm going to leave them for about another 10 minutes or so and uh we'll get these off. Okay, I've let these rest a bit, so let's uh, take a look here. This one I know has come off the bone, but man, look at this. Man, they're still piping hot. You take a look at that. Man, that looks friggin' amazing. <clears throat> Let me get into this next one. Man, these things are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to have a taste. So let me just pull a piece off of where the bone came off. That's got a beautiful, beautiful hickory aroma. That's as good as any beef rib I've ever cooked. It's got a lot of smoke flavor, and this is, I'm getting ready to say something that's good and bad. I got plenty of smoke flavor from this grill using that smoker box. I think I may have a little more smoke flavor than I typically prefer, so that's a good sign. I can back the process down a little bit and still get great Q, so the Camp Chef Woodwind Pro has, has done a, a beautiful job on this rack of ribs. I can't wait till my next cook. I think the next cook that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see how well it performs without the smoker box. So stick around for that. And guys, until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.